As part of our sustainability initiative here, we launched a class many years ago. I launched it with a number of colleagues here, Rick Locke, Rebecca Henderson, Jeff Shames, um, Anjali Sastry. We launched a class that we call S-Lab, the Laboratory for Sustainable Business. This is an action learning course, and the participants, uh, they're not only learning the state of the art in sustainability challenges, climate, yes, but not just climate. We face many other challenges, microplastics, water shortage, toxics in our food and our air and our water, and on and on and on. And so we're helping them understand the state of the art there and what can be done about it, but they also work in teams with real companies and real organizations on live sustainability challenges. And uh, we've had a very wide range of companies and other organizations participate, and many of them come back year after year after year. So many of the largest tech companies, financial services companies, auto companies, all the way through the Girl Scouts of the USA. And they, most of them are coming back year after year. We get more companies wanting to sponsor a project than we can have capacity for, even though we've added a section to the class. Last spring we had, I think, 140 students. Uh, and uh, we don't charge anything to participate. We ask for something far more important. The sponsoring organization has to have people who are willing to put in the time. If they're not, it doesn't work. So this is a fantastic experience for, for many of our students and they've actually, it's actually led to significant impact in a number of cases, including here at MIT. That very first year, the students identified a portfolio of many millions of opportunities for economic benefit for MIT in reducing our carbon emissions. A lot of that was easily implemented and was. And that then also led to spillover benefits because it demonstrated to folks in facilities and our leadership that there was a lot of low-hanging fruit and it hadn't been harvested. And so now, many years later, MIT has continued on that journey. There's a long way to go, let's be clear. We have a net zero commitment by 2050 uh, and there are some tough to decarbonize activities here on the campus because we have a lot of labs and we have some very energy intensive activities that are essential and we're going to keep them. But there's tremendous opportunity and a lot's been done, including big organizational changes like creating a position for a director of sustainability who reports to the EVP and treasurer of MIT, so that's a very senior position, and she's terrific and has built a great organization that has moved all this work forward. So uh, that's the kind of thing that has happened, and we've seen similar results in many of the corporations that uh, have sponsored S-Lab projects. We also offer executive education in sustainability, both open enrollment and custom programs for particular companies and many of those have led to significant successes as well.